for our foreign missions. It's come up that some diplomats are paying uh, play hide and seek with uh, landlords in our uh, host country because we've not paid our rent. What's the situation? Well, let me say that this is a matter that has been going on for, for many years in the sense that, unlike most ministries, out of our goods and services, we take, uh, we pay rents, we pay utilities. So for people in, let's say, very cold uh, countries, um, their, their, their utilities, which is gas, electricity, the heating and all of that, taking out of goods and services. We all know how these payments delay. As a result, uh, in our releases, then we have problems. And in many cases, we have situations where landlords are, are, are throwing out um, uh, our officers who are renting their 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 buildings, and also they are not able their their water, uh, which is their utilities, water, uh, gas, electricity is cut off. And you know, if you are in a cold and in the middle of winter, and this happens to you, it can be very very terrible. So that's some of the things that are happening in terms of. Of, of, of the rents, which was mentioned on the floor. And as you know, the committee, when they meet with the ministry, um, get to know our problems, get to know also our successes. And so they, are, they have a very good idea of what is happening. And in some cases, like during budget estimates uh, debates, they bring it up because um, it is only proper that the Ministry of Finance should know what is happening and with regards to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs should know what is happening in our missions and how it goes to affect the image of Ghana outside. Um, yes, in some cases they've had to, um, if I use the word, uh, dodge uh, landlords because landlords are coming for their, their money and it's, it's become a problem because our releases uh, haven't been able to, to do uh, in, in time, on time. You mentioned some, some of the countries. I where... cannot mention, but there, I can tell you that most of these cases, these are countries where we do not own properties and therefore we are renting. And it is not all the countries we are represented in that we own the properties. Many of them also, over the years, unfortunately, and we've been renting. I take the example of, of Geneva, for instance. Ghana will forever be in, 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 in Switzerland because Geneva is a conference post. You have uh, institutions, the UN institutions there. And so we'll be there forever. But unfortunately, over the, the, the decades that we've been there, we've never um, um, owned property. So we are now in the process of uh, building a chancery so that we can own it. And by extension also, not just the residents, but also we need to own um, enough properties for our diplomats when they go outside to be able to stay. So these are some of the major issues that we, we, we have. Uh, we find ourselves in some difficult situations in some cases. Okay. So what, are, what are you doing um, to the situation? Well, um, we are fortunate to have a 50 million facility which um, is woefully inadequate, but at least it's a start. So like I told you about um, Geneva, about Paris, uh, about uh, Addis Ababa, we need to uh, make sure Addis Ababa is where the AU is, so we'll, we'll have to own our own goal. So we've started dispersing towards purchases, uh, towards renovations, and uh, towards uh, construction. So that's what we are doing. But it will not reach anywhere, because if you take some of the countries, they're very expensive. So, but we'll start with that, and then, and it's a loan, it's a facility. So once we finish paying, I'm sure that um, uh, Societe General will give us uh, more money. But we need to... To, to use it and then pay, and then we can go to phase two. Okay. Um, another issue I've got to do with uh, the um, situation with, with Nigeria and the border closure. We were supposed to agree the house sometime last week, but it didn't happen. The speaker has had to issue another fear before the house. What, what can you tell us? Yes, I must say that uh, this is uh, an issue that is of great concern to, to, to us in Ghana because you have many over at some point it, it was over 500 trucks stuck at the border the benin border um, and the effect is that they can't enter into nigeria because nigeria has closed the border 
and these are companies, uh, one typical companies, uh, Casa Preco, they send a lot of their goods into Nigeria, they are not able to go. Many other companies, oil palm, uh, uh, and, and um, some food juices and stuff, and they've been stuck there for a very long time, and there's no sign of the border being opened anytime soon. And um, this, we've made a trip to Nigeria, the uh, trade minister and I, to go and um, impress upon them that, yes, we understand that we were not the focus of uh, the action that they took. However, it is an action that uh, has uh, affected us, a collateral damage to our importers. And so then something needs to be done. And if indeed we are not the focus, then something needs to be done to, to, to grant us a, a safe corridor for Ghanaian goods. Fortunately, it hasn't been done. We continue to engage them. A committee has been set up and we'll see what we can do. But in the meantime, what I am saying is that um, if there are any more tracks there, because for some of them, their goods have perished. If there are any tracks there, we need to uh, advise them to come back and, and look at our alternative means of of, um, of sending their goods to That's Nigeria. where they sent out there to these people. This is what we are doing. It's a decision that was taken a few a few days ago, which is what my the, the Deputy Minister for Foreign Affairs and the Deputy Trade Minister uh, embarked on a, tri a trip there. They went to see the situation is really bad. Some hadn't even had bad uh, truck drivers for many weeks. And so um, we are in the process of, um, but we are in touch with our Benin uh, mission, uh, in process of trying to, to send word to them, to the companies, meet with the companies and tell them that at this rate, um, they, they, they need to withdraw their, their, their trucks. It's not just uh, Ghanaian trucks, there are other trucks from other countries, companies from uh, other countries like um, Togo, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, and so on and so forth. It's, it's a bad situation, but we continue to dialogue because the, the relations between our two countries it's also very important to us um, against the back backdrop of this Guta matter, which is happening. Um, they have people here, uh, we have people in their country, and it's a complicated matter. So you need to feel your way uh, gingerly through it. Because if you if you too uh, uh, if you rush too much or you take harsh decisions, it might affect not just the relations, but more importantly, the the the, the people. Who on both sides uh, we have our national assembly sides. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.